Okay, so in this video, I'm going over how we're booking 30 to 70 plus qualified meetings every single month with established e-commerce brands by sending emails for our marketing agency partners. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Ethan Walby. I'm the founder of ETL Digital and we partner with established marketing agencies to help them increase their revenue by 50 to $100,000 within six to nine months. So I want to get straight into it. I'm not covering any sort of mindset stuff here. By all means, keep doing your affirmations, but this is the tactical, in the trenches, knowledge on what you actually need to do. So, firstly, we need to find leads. We need to source them from somewhere. The tool I like to use is Apollo. Another option is a tool called Boltworth, right? So these tools will just give you access to a lot of leads and the contact information. However, the leads that they give you and the contact information that they give you will not always be verified. So what we need to do scrape the leads from Apollo and take them into a tool called Bulk Email Checker. What this tool does is it goes through all the emails and make sure they're all real, make sure you can actually send to them, and then it pretty much just cleans the list, right? These are pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. So the next step is we use a tool called Instantly. Now Instantly is an email sending software. It's the best one out there, at least in my opinion, because it allows you to send from multiple domains at once. So what most people do is they create one domain, they buy one domain from Google Domains, for example, and they send all the emails from there. And why that's bad, or why that's limiting, is that it only allows you to send a certain amount of volume, because anything beyond, for example, 50, 100 emails a day, has a very, very high likelihood of flagging your domain, and it all your emails getting sent to spam, you know, ruining the health of the actual domain. So with Instantly, what it does, and I'll open it up here, it allows you to send from multiple domains at once, like I mentioned. So what you can do is you can buy, for example, 10 domains, send from all of them at the same time, and this really splits up the volume, which allows you to keep the domain safe, um, keep the volume low per domain, but still be able to send out much, much more than what you'd be able to do using, for example, one. So by all means, you can buy 10, 20, 30 domains and send from all of them at once, which just allows you to get the volume out. And volume is extremely important, right? And I'll mention that later. I'm not saying spam everyone you know, but you do need a certain amount of volume to see your results. Then those are the softwares we use. We use Apollo to source leads, bulk email checker to verify the leads or validate them, and we send using instantly and we buy domains using Google domains. And if you want this document, just comment below or let me know and I'll send it over. There's links to all the stuff. And then copy. All right, copy is the messaging that we use, right, if you don't know. So I use a four-part conversion framework for all my emails. It's extremely simple. It works extremely well. And the truth is, it doesn't have to be complicated, right? It's actually detrimental if it is complicated. So what I start with, I call it a personalized, unpersonalized first line, right? So what most people do is they spend five minutes per email, go onto their LinkedIn, compliment the founder, owner on their dog, you know, on their kids, baseball game, win. And it's just weird, like... Why, why would that be relevant in a business email? You know, compliment them on all these random things. But the truth is, founders, owners, CEOs, they don't really care. They're not going to reply to your email because, you know, you gave them a really nice compliment about their, I don't know, their college, college results. They don't, they don't really care. They're practical. They want to get straight to the point. So what I like to use is a generic line that can be used in every single email. So for example, um, what I saw that works really, really well is like my friend showed me some pictures of his store and I thought I'd reach out. That's a great way to create a personalized, unpersonalized first line because you know it's pretty, pretty out of the blue, it's pretty strange, um, but that allows you to, or allows them to think that um, you know, there's some sort of personalization in there, right? But obviously, 
do it however you want to do it. Um, if someone didn't show you a picture, then probably don't put that as your personal line. Um, but completely up to you. Do whatever you want. Secondly, the offer. Right? You need something that people want. So, this is pretty much just explaining exactly what you do. For example, we help e-commerce brands to increase revenue by an extra 200-300k a month uh, without ad spend on a pay on results basis. That's your offer. Super simple, just explains your expertise. Right, that's usually the one-liner. And then secondly, you want to back that offer up with case studies and social proof. Because anyone can say this. Anyone can say what they do, but not many people can back it up. So what you want to do is state the offer, then you say, and we recently helped this brand to achieve this result in this time frame. Right? And you can do that for multiple, multiple domains. I mean, multiple um, case studies. And then finally, you want a soft CTA. And I highlight this because it's something I don't see people doing very often. And it's increased a lot of results. So this is actually... Okay, that's actually meant to be there. So this is an example of a soft CTA. Mind if I send some more info? As opposed to, do you want to book a call? Do you want to talk to me? Do you want to buy my service? Right? It's an easier ask. And it just allows him to get to the next step, which I'll go over in a minute. And then in terms of follow-ups, I do two to five follow-ups depending on how many case studies the client has. So you know, if they just have hundreds of results, you want to use that. You want to utilize what you have. So you put a case study in every single follow-up email after the second one. So for example, what a case study follow-up would look like is, hey name, hope you're doing great. Just wanted to reach out because we recently helped this brand to achieve this result in this time frame. We'd love to do the same for you. Mind if I send some more info? Super, super simple. Right? That's all you need to do. And then another big one is the reply framework. So this is something I see no one doing. But what we use is what I call a mini pitch. So you use a pre-made response for 90% of your replies. Pretty much like the automated bot messages you get um, in places. But it's actually good. So <laughs> the way I structure the mini pitch is someone will, you'll offer someone more information. They'll say, yes, please send me some more info. And then what you do is send the mini pitch. So the mini pitch consists of the offer, guarantee, risk reversal, or benefits, and then a CTA of booking the call, a call to action of booking. So basically, to give a quick example of what it would look like, you offer more info, they say, yes, please send me some more info, it sounds great. Then what you say is perfect. So basically what we do is we help e-com brands increase their revenue by 250 or 200 to 300 um, K a month within 90 days on a pay and results basis. That's the offer. Then you go to the guarantee. And the best part is the service is completely done for you and it's on a pay on results basis, meaning we only get paid once you get results. Then you have a CTA of booking. And you're like, you say something like, I'd love to go into more detail and explain exactly how the offer works. You know, it would be a lot easier than explaining it through a LinkedIn message. Plus it would take a few hours to read. Would you be open to a quick call? If not, let me know. Or if you are, let me know and I'll send a scheduling link. That's the mini pitch. And why this is great is because it's providing more information, right? So my, these people might expect like a, a deck or an entire presentation on exactly what you do. But, and I've seen a lot of people, they offer more information and they send like a 20 minute loom. Like no one wants to watch your loom, ironically while I'm recording a loom, but you don't want to give a lot of friction to booking the call. You don't want to stop them from booking the call. They don't like if they see a 20 minute video, they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch that next week. But if the information is right there, like we're doing, it's easy to read. It's quick, gets to the point, covers the main benefits, the guarantees, and they see the social proof from the previous, previous stuff and they'll book in. You just need to give them a reason to book in. Right, that's the key point. Give them a reason to book in and don't make it difficult for them to do it. 
if a 30 minute loom is stopping them from booking a meeting, they're not going to book a meeting. It's going to be very rare. So ideally send the loom after they booked the meeting. They've already made the commitment and then it'll warm them up before the call and allow you to close them a lot more easily. Then two to three follow-ups to non-responders. Right? So if people don't respond to your mini pitch or they don't respond when you send a link, like the booking link, then you send a follow-up. Something as simple as, um, hey name, did you get my last message? Hey name, just checking if you checking if any of these times work for you. If not, let me know and I'll scan or I'll move some things around. Right? Very simple. Anything is better than nothing. And then finally some notes. Volume negates luck. Make it unreasonable to fail. So if you send five emails and you don't, you know, get to add an extra fifty K a month, that's pretty unreasonable. But if you send a million emails and you don't book a meeting, like make it unreasonable to fail. So if you send a million emails and you don't book a, or if you want to send a million, you should expect to at least book some meetings, right? Just do, do more. Do more is always the answer, almost. And then offer is king, right? So what you state here, the offer, and that includes the case study and social proof, that is going to get you 99% of your results. It's not the personalized first line, it's not how you structure your email, it's not your grammar, it's the offer, right? So focus on that. And then low risk beats high reward, okay? This is very, very important. So in e-commerce or in the marketing space, what you want to do is try to reduce their risk to zero and they will almost always buy or they'll almost always convert because a high reward, you know, adding a million a month, but there's a 10% chance and you have to pay like 20 K up front is a lot less appealing than someone saying, you know, we'll, we'll help you add an extra 20 K a month. Um, but you pay no money down and you only pay us after you get the result, right? Even though the reward is huge on the other one, the risk is still there. So aim for low risk as opposed to the highest reward in your guarantees and all of that. So this is pretty much the process we use, right? If you think it's simple, it's because it is. So it's just a matter of doing this, doing this process, you know, sending a decent amount of volume. That means at least, at least hundreds of emails sent. You should get a decent amount of bookings from that. And then optimizing what's working and or doing more of what's working and doing less of what's not. So use this, genuinely use this, because this is what we're using to actually get these results. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the video. So to give a quick overview of what we do, we partner with established marketing agencies who make at least 30K a month minimum to increase your revenue by 50 to 100K per month within six months, or we work for free until you do. And we do this by building out new offers, creating marketing assets, building a predictable client acquisition systems and optimizing your sales process and a whole list of other things. But we can talk about that through DM. And if you're under 30K a month, just use the free content, sign clients and join the winning team when you get there. So hope you found this video useful. I know it's a long one, but yeah, I will talk to you in the next one.